Ayan, good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Um, welcome po sa ating pinaka-importanting segment this afternoon. So with me po is a very, very important guest, um, which I am going to, um, ano muna, i-introduce ko muna ang kanyang profile kasi medyo mahaba-habang basahin ito, right? Um, so si Doc Romel po is binigyan po tayo ng chance na uh, pina, is that called pinaunlakan? Pinaunlakan niya tayo na makasama this afternoon to talk a very um, important topic which is um, mental health. So si Doc Romel po is an associate professor of the Canadian University sa Dubai and then he has been teaching psychology among other business and management courses in the past 20 years. And aside from that, meron po siyang dalawang bigating degrees. That's um, PhD in Counseling uh, Psychology with highest distinction sa De La Salle University. And of course, PhD in Management naman yan, na bonggang-bonggang high distinction, uh, distinction sa Liverpool University, UK. Aside from that, si Dr. Romel din po is a very, very active advocate. Napakaraming awards. Um, hindi ko na po siya iisa-isahin. But one thing that is very, very, um, ano, for me, very memorable for me was the Presidential Award for Outstanding Filipinos Overseas. Kasama ko rin po siya sa 100 or sa ngayon this year is 300 most influential Filipinos in the Gulf dahil po sa lahat ng kanyang mga advocacies. So with me this afternoon is um, Doc Romel. Doc, kumusta po kayo? Uh, hi, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Mabuti naman po at sa uh, lahat ng nakikinig sa sa yung uh, programa. Programa ko na matatawag eh, kasi very, <laughs> very, very functional and very structured uh, Oh, thank you so much, Doc. Um, I know that you're very, very busy. So um, I just wanted to ask everyone before we uh, proceed on discussing the topic, I, know, I would like to request if you could please um, share this Facebook Live to your pages and your pong mga friends because I'm very, very sure for the next one hour, it's going to be very, very informative and makakatulong po ito sa inyo at sa mga kasamahan ninyo or mga kapamilya ninyo to help have a better understanding of what is mental health? So kung maalala nyo po yung pinost ko, my question was, how's your mental health, di ba? Kasi nga, according to World Health Organization, people with severe mental disorders are especially vulnerable during emergencies. Anong sinasabi kong emergencies? It's at this time where we have this COVID-19 pandemic. And they need access to mental health care and other basic needs. So my question is, how are you doing? How's your mental health? Are you feeling anxious? Please, if you know someone who might be experiencing poor mental health and they don't know how to deal with it, I encourage you to please stick to this um, session and then try to share them with them so para matulungan po natin sila. Okay po, Doc? So I'm going now to go directly doon sa ating uh, ano, a, a series of questions that I've, I wanted to um, throw into you. Sa isa po dyan, um, in layman layman terms po, what is mental health ba? Ayan, yung... Um, yung mental health po natin na tinatawag ay balanced uh, aspect sa tatlong aspeto po ng ating buhay. So una po yan yung physical. Ano ko mamaya marami tayong discussion points kung paano maka-enrich yung yes. aspeto na yan. So yung three major aspects that experts would deal with would normally be rooted or root, naka, nakakonekta po yan doon sa tatlong aspeto. Physical, psychological, o pwede mo nyo rin pong sabihin na mental, anything that goes in the head. And then yung social well-being, ito po yung ating pakikipagsalamuha, pakikipagkapwa-tao. Yung tatlong aspeto po na yan, pagbalanse, mentally healthy po tayo. So mamaya yung mga aspeto na yan, ng tatlong aspects na yan, hihimayin po natin para mas makita natin yung, yung mga signs kung healthy ba tayo. Baka naman yung iba na magsasabi na may disorder sila ay stress talaga yung yung root hindi oh. naman necessarily disorder na agad no exactly. so ang yung iba magsasabi diyan nakaka-stress ah, nakaka nakaka-depress naman ganto ganyan yung pala st stress uh, sila <laughs> yes ayun ayun lang eh dahil it leads also to higher form of disorder pagka may sobra yung yung stress natin so yung tatlong aspeto po na yan ang gusto kong linawin na uh, ang ang uh, experts po sa field ng psychology nagkakasundo sa tatlong aspeto na yan na pagbalanse eh, there is such mm. thing as mental health uh, po. okay so ano naman po yung difference between mental illness versus mental health 
Ayan, mag- another very good topic to deal with. Yung pong mental mental illness, kabalintunaan o kabaligtaran ng tinatawag natin na mental health. So halimbawa po, uh, tayo po ay maayos na nakakapag-isip, nakakatulog, at nakakakain ng maayos, nandiyan yung mental health uh, on the physical side, psychological side, wala tayong negativity sa naiisip, at nakakapag-function tayo as individuals and as professionals. Ganon din po yung relationship natin sa iba. So yung kabaliktaran po ng lahat ng aspeto na binanggit ko, kung kayo po ay hindi masyadong nakakapag-establish ang relationship, especially kung may physical na nangyayari sa, sa relasyon na yon Totoo po yung sinasabi ng ibang uh, ano na experts na oh itong si Celebrity X ay uh, lima uh, anim na beses nang nagpalit ng ng relationship in just a matter mm. of a year. So you come to question also uh, a part of that. No? So lahat ng kabaligtaran po ng balanceng aspeto ng ng mental health na sinabi ko kanina ay that leads to mental health uh, aberrations or problems okay. or illness. Kasi yung illness po extreme siya na to the point na nagli-lead na doon sa deterioration ng functions mo. Pag pag hindi okay. ka na nakaka-function as an as an employee, as, as an individual, nandiyan na yung withdrawal at marami mm-hmm. pang signs mamaya. Nandiyan na possibly yung illness. Talaga na pagka-clinically diagnosed ka na. Oo. Oo. So doc, yung yung ano, yung kasi na mention mo kanina yung physical um, ano, how your physical health impacts your mental health. Ay nako, another very nice uh, question yun. Kasi yung iba, ang iniisip agad nila pag mental health, mental lang, yung psychological mm. lang. Hindi, mm. po yan, uh, hindi po yan realistic. Kasi yung physical uh, aspect ko, like our physical activities, yung lifestyle, that defines the connectedness ng ating pong mental health uh, uh, state. So halimbawa po, in, we don't get the chance to exercise that much. Yung... Mm yung at tapos overweight po tayo so most likely uh, related din siya dun sa sa diet natin for instance so interactive forces na yan eh nabablock ng karamihan ng ng happiness hormones mo when you're overweight kasi yung fatty acids natin ah, okay. hindi rin siya nakakatulong pa nag-enhance pa siya actually ng depression level halimbawa so yung iba na na not much into into exercise mga talagang unhealthy food na na base from uh, frying no yung deep fry instead of omega okay. 3 mo omega 6 which is uh, um, a major component yung M- o- omega 6 na yun major component siya kung bakit y- mas nag nade-depress ka eh nabablock niya yung happiness oh, okay so, wow uh, ay physical na aspeto Jess it's a really Uh, broad spectrum ng topic no starting off with the way you handle your 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 physical activities the way you 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 eat i mean the way yung yung dietary uh, allowance mm-hmm. mo yung nutrition na nakukuha mo uh, smoking lifestyle din yan na right. <laughs> yeah. smoker kasi ako doc eh Ah uh, okay so may may aspect din siya kasi syempre yung 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 aspect ng ng smoking it, yung ano niyan component niyan of course it's something that also inhibits hormones or yung neurotransmitters natin sa brain natin Ma- mamaya I'll give more uh, specific insights on so yung yung physical aspect hindi lang siya contributory sa mental yung mental sa physical din so para siyang springboard No, na okay. pagpalaisip ka, nag-iisip ka ng maraming bagay, as, uh, affected din yung physical state mo kasi syempre hindi ka nakakatulog. So uh, Correct, affected uh-huh. din yung kapayat ka. Uh, nag-o-overeating ka dahil yun yung coping mechanism mo. So uh-huh. ang, ang, tendency, oh, ang tendency naman, syempre lumolobo ka, na-affectuan din yung mental state mo gawa ng biological na aspeto naman na sinasabi. Oh, so they, they go hand in hand. Oh, oh. In, so, in that aspect. So you you've, you've mentioned about yung iyong physical um, activities impacts your mental health. Now, on the other side naman doc, when does um paano mo nalalaman na yung pag may poor mental health ang tao, how does it mm-hmm. manifest physically on them? Ayan, magandang uh, discussion point. So una, lahat tayo nag-under meron tayo lahat na stressful events na kinakarap. May mga stressors tayo every day, no? Regardless kung hindi ka makakuha ng cab mo, ng ng Hmm. ng uh, ng bus na late ka it na trigger na kaagad yon sa yo 
So nagta-translate 'yan, yung mga worries na 'yan eventually into something else, no? So yung, yung manifestation ba nag meron kang depressive mood. So ang okay lang 'yun kung once in a while lang, pero kung nag-penetrate siya within a week or two, start to consult na kasi you you need to to see the, the different signs, no? Lack of energy, halimbawa, Uh, at some extent, you feel so worthless. Yung na dumadating dun sa point na minsan, pagbabrush lang ng teeth, tsaka pagpaligo, I hope each one of you did. <laughs> ay, <laughs> oh. ay, ano, mahirap na mahirap pa sa'yo. Ang hirap sa'yong gawin yon. So, possibly, meron ka ng depression state, no? Hindi lang yung oh. withdrawal. So, oh. mara- ang, ang mga symptoms na nagmamanifest dun sa physical state mo na yung yung ang mga nag-aaral naguhut pa sila kahit mainit oh, may indication oh, oh. yan eh lalo na yung walang uniform sa eskwelahan na na nagmamanifesta dun sa sa physical state hindi lang sa pagpayat pagtaba may mga cases na talagang makikita mo na uh, yung hindi lang sa sa energy kundi yung sa mm-hmm. concentration kinakausap oh, oh. mo iba-iba ang sinasagot eh, oh. hindi masyadong maka physically nakikita mo yung yung eye contact nandiyan man pero hindi niya masyadong maabsorb yung sinasabi mo again biologically yung physical state affected din yon dahil yung concentration level sa brain natin particularly may reticular formation na part ng brain natin maliit na stem lang yon na parang mm-hmm. straw like na pagka ikaw ay uh, physical uh, i mean mentally disturbed Black yun eh. So physically, hindi ka rin maka-act according to what is demanded of you sa work mo. Sa, kahit na physical na interaction lang na kagaya nito, ay hindi siya makaugma. No? So mga physical manifestations, pagpayat, pagtaba, opposite minsan, no? uh, uh, makita mo yung haggard na looking. Siyempre, again, concentration, oh. di mo yan ma- ma- makita. At at worst scenario, verbalizing, physically, nakikita mo na sa kanya na I want to end my life. May mga ganyan na manifestations tayo. No? So mamaya, okay. may, may mga pang disorders na, na question I might pick up, uh, expound, uh, i-elaborate ko na lang doon. Okay, cool. I'm just um, trying to check kasi parang nagka, nag, meron yata tayong um, hindi ma-access ng iba ang link to this live. Yeah, um, so for some reason, nagkakaroon tayo ng ano. So, Doc, I am going to end our broadcast and I'm going to reopen it again. Kasi baka or, nagkaroon na tayo ng technical glitch, ha? We no, will be back. Uh, okay, no so guys, please stay tuned. We will be back. I-end ko lang to ulit. Apa. Ayan, good afternoon ulit, guys. I'm so sorry. I think we had some technical um, glitches earlier. So, um, we kind of like wanted to make sure. Kasi parang hindi siya, yung content na sinisend natin, Um, hindi siya naikita ng iba. So, I just wanted to check if the others can view that. Pwede siyang, um, Kathy, uh, ka, uh, si Kathy at si Chito, I'm going to share you some links. If you could just let me know if you are able to open that before we proceed. Kasi the reason why I wanted to make sure na it's correct link, because the topic that we're going to be discussing this afternoon is very, very important. Na, no, ano to, kagaya na sabi ko kanina nga, it talks about one of the, the most taboo conversations na a lot of people don't want to ano don't want to discuss and with me this afternoon we have doc romel um na introduce ko na siya kanina earlier i'm just going to um reiterate it again um he he's he's the first person who came to my mind no sinabi ko na i wanted to run a mental health um discussion and it's because i know him from from very long time and i know that he's advocating for this so he is the right person so doc good afternoon ulit sa iyo pasensya na sa ating uh technical glitch kanina. Um, no how are you doing? Okay lang ba na nawala tayo sa ere ng mga ilang Ay, minutes? Ako. Oo, okay na okay lang yan. Alam mo naman, challenges come in our way but it's how we handle things, di ba? Sabi exactly. nga natin pala. Ay, ako, timely, timely yan, Doc, sa sinabi mo. That's kasi true. That's, that's, true. that's really true. It's about how you handle all the adversities that we have. Ano? Um, mm-hmm. So, I would like to request again, everyone. Um, so, thank you so much again for tuning in, um, for being with us this afternoon. I would like to encourage that um, if you could please... Uh, share this uh, Facebook Live to your um, friends, to your colleagues na pwedeng makinabang nito. So, one of the things is that um, he, we may not know na people are experiencing um, a poor mental health. So, if we are a little bit a little bit of aware of this, it can actually help us um, address those issues. No, Doc? Um, 
balikan balikan ko lang ulit dok yung ating uh, tanong um, earlier so i know that our momentum was there already mm-hmm. so just for okay. the benefit of others na hindi nang aakita um in layman's terms po ulit um what is uh, mental health po para sa para sa inyo ano po yung pinaka madaling maintindihan Uh, sige. Um, uh, ang mental health po ay encompassing o kasa integrated po yan dun sa tatlong aspeto na tinutukoy ng ating mga eksperto sa sa field ng psychology. Uh, halimbawa po, yung unang aspeto physical, uh, we have the second one, psychological, tsaka yung pangatlo po, social well-being. No? So ang ang physical aspect, napakahalaga, mamaya mas may thorough discussion po tayo, kung paano natin na may maintain yung yung physical wellness na nakaka-apekto rin sa atang sa ating mental uh, well-being. So yan yung sa physical kung tama po bang ba ating timbang, tama po bang ba ating mga intake ng pagkain no at uh, nakaka-contribute yung ating may tinatawag po kasi tayong second na 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 utak no yung pangalawang brain po natin yung yung uh, ating uh, intestine Pang- kaya halos pareho ng itsura yan so physical aspect is very important psychological or mental so syempre po kung at, at, at tama po ang ating pag-iisip ang ating nararamdaman ay hindi uh, kagaya ng sa hindi normal na mga individual mas sense mo eh kung kung hindi ka nakakatulog ng dalawang linggo na, there, there's really something wrong no sa mental state natin, how we process information. So yung negativity po, dyan din po mapasok kung yung sa mental state po natin. No? Social well-being, ito po yung ating pakikipagkapwa-tao sa iba, paano tayo magdodraw ng relationship. Uh, at kung hindi tayo nakakarating doon sa punto ng sakitan, physical violence, eh, pwede mo talagang masabi na may mental health ka. So it's the balance of those three aspects po na binanggit ko. Yeah. Isa, isa ako sa biktima sa pagkakaroon ng misconception between the two. So ano po yung Apo. difference between mental illness at saka ng mental health? Ayan, um, another very uh, interesting topic to talk about. Sabi nung iba, may thin line lang na nagdodraw dun sa dalawang yun. No? Pero in, in reality, yung mental health po kasi hindi siya switch on and off uh, thing na ngayon, mentally healthy ako, bukas, hindi ako mentally healthy. So, may mga degrees po kasi siya, may mga antas, kumbaga. No? So, kung yung mental health, minsan duma- dumalating tayo dun sa point na hindi tayo masyado nakaka-adapt na- dahil sa stress, hindi po yan talaga mental illness agad-agad. No? So, kung yung mga stressful events sa buhay natin, uh, kahit pa sabihin we lost someone, hindi mo kagad masasabi na may depression disorder ako or may depressive disorder ako. Um, y- yung antas na sinasabi ko po eh, from coping to not that well in coping maaring mental health uh, problem pa siya matut- maituturing or poor mental health but that exactly mental illness no? so yung mental illness yan na yung tipong hindi ka na nakaka-function professionally, personally so yung aspect po na binanggit ko kanina sa mental health opposite noong physical Uh, psychological or yung mental at saka po yung uh, social functioning. So kung opposite po, na talagang hindi mo na nagagampanan yung responsibility mo as a uh, member of the family, you're withdrawn, you're violent, no, uh, hindi ka nakakatulog ng maayos, yung mga opposite extremes po yun ng normal na state. no. Pero huwag po kayo mag- mag-worry kung kayo ay na-stress pa minsan-minsan. It's a natural <laughs> normal lang yun. life. Normal <laughs> yun. Na dumarating, sumasadsad ka minsan sa poor mental health, but not exactly mental illness. no. Okay. 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 Um, how does your physical health po impacts your mental health? Ayan, napakalaking bagay. Uh, parang it's the soul igniting your your mental health. Eh. Oh, so, okay. ibig sabihin, ng proper nutrients din ng ating katawan, such as ang hilig natin mga Pilipino sa mga deep fries, no? Or deep okay. fried food. food omega-6 uh-huh. na kukuha natin dyan instead of omega-3. Unless uh, tuna ang kainin mo, among other uh, rich in omega-3, nag-sustain nag, uh, siya ng, ng happiness hormones natin. Pero ang hindi po natin alam, the more we eat a not so, I mean, a not healthy food or a set of foods na hindi talaga balance yung diet mo, lalong nagsasuffer yung mental health mo kasi nabablock niya yung mga yung mga lit, literally yung happiness hormones natin no so may mga pagkain din na advisable po na na physically pwede nating intake banana strawberry walnuts no 
Okay. Uh, rich, rich yung ang mga yan sa happiness boosters uh, ng ating happiness hormones. So, yung physical na aspeto po natin, no, pag napabayaan po natin yan, lack of exercise. Okay? Mm-hmm. Exercise mm-hmm. in the morning, most prescribed by experts kasi nga, uh, gandang Jess, ay kita natin yung 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 uh, katawan natin kailangan din na uh, mas active lalo na sa umaga kasi nga may may meron din tayong mga uh, happiness hormones na mas ignited siya pag yung activity physical activities natin sa umaga natin ginagawa halimbawa serotonin tsaka endorphin natin uh, kung magiging scientific po tayo sa ating pagdi-discuss yung mga terms po na binanggit ko na yan ay mga types ng happiness hormones na sa umaga natin po yan ma, ma mas mas ma-regulate. No, so sa gabi, yung melatonin po natin na as as hormones, mas active naman siya in the absence of light, no? So kaya ang pag pagtulog as a physical activity, mahalaga din kasi imagine, you process around 70,000 thoughts every day. Wow. So sa pita na 'yon, uh, Jess pero may, siguro, may iniisip ka pa din sa kabila. No? Ko, o hmm. kaya tinitimang ko, internet connection ko ba, gumagana ba, naririnig Correct. pa ang boses ko. So, multiplicity of thoughts yan in one uh, spectrum of a moment. So okay. imagine kung hindi mo pinapahinga yung brain mo at continuously nagpo-process siya ng information hanggang kinabukasan at yung mga habang natutulog ka, nag-generate pa rin ang happiness hormones yan. Kaya happy yung mood mo pag enough yung sleep mo eh. Ay, so, okay. Yeah, ang ganda lang ng <laughs> question mo na sa mga speaking engagements ko online, hindi ako mm-hmm. nakakapag-discuss ng ganito kasi yung oras talagang dapat ganito lang. So very, yung very question mo, very much directed mm-hmm. dun sa mga aspect ng science kung bakit Correct. support yung yung information na yan. So yan, mahalaga yung physical uh, exercise, diet, mm-hmm. syempre. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a, a matter of focusing on what is really essential for the body. No? So okay. smoking, syempre, hindi maganda yes. sa ating katawan. Yung mga Uh-oh. ingredients yan na nagbablock ng happiness hormones natin to make it more general dun sa discussion ko. Okay. Now, so we talk about uh, the impact of physical health to your mental health. Now, ano naman po din, Doc? How do we identify if someone has poor mental health? How does it manifest physically on them? Ayan. So another very good uh, question. Yung eating and sleeping patterns po natin is determined, of course, of something that you can observe. Hindi lang nakasama natin sa bahay, kundi sa sarili rin natin. No? So kung meron ka ng one week to two weeks na nararamdaman mo, hindi ka nakakatulog ng maayos, o kaya naman, uh, you oversleep. Posible na opposite poles din kasi siya, uh, Jess, no? na tipong tulog ka ng tulog sa hapon, no? Uh, hypersomnia yung tawag doon, tapos insomnia, hindi ka makatulog sa gabi. No? So may mga ganyan siya na physical signs. Oo. But of course, pagpaba, pagpayat, no? dahil may mga impact nga na overeating, so tayo matataba ka, hindi ka nakakatulog masyado, hindi ka rin kumakain, so pumapayat ka naman. No? So may mga ganyang aspeto. So yung, yung makikita mo na, na, ano, na, na aspect ng physical na hindi lang sa haggard na, na tao, pero yung response system ba ng tao sa, sa, sa external world? Halimbawa, yung tao na sobra yung anxiety, may tumunog lang ng konti, uh, hindi lang siya basta nabigla, yung may, may panic attacks talaga na, ay naku, uwi na ako kasi uh, end of the world na. <laughs> so hindi na talaga siya normal, <laughs> di ba? So, hindi na normal pressure, reaction na, oh depressive state naman. Uh, opposite naman na makikita mong reaction na physical reaction ng tao okay. na may anxiety. Hindi siya nagpapanik, parang kalmadong-kalmado lang siya kasi wala naman siyang maramdaman na kahit i-pinch mo siya, turutin mm-hmm. mo, um, yung tao na sobra yung taas ng depression level. Eh. So, wow. kita mo yung extremes ng mga signs na yon. So, yan. Okay. Um, may mga bagay na ikaw lang nakakaramdam, parang ang tawag niyan psychosomatic kahit anong patingin mo sa doktor, dahil feeling mo, laging kumukulo yung chan mo, oh, yung pala may anxiety uh, disorder ka na, oh, pero walang makita ang doktor na sign. Ikaw, nararamdaman mo lang yun. Ah, gusto mo nga ganun pala, Dok. Mas mahirap yun. Ano gamutin? Mahirap. Kasi an- state of the mind lang siya, pero physically, nararamdaman mo. No, yun, yun, yeah, because yung, the brain uh, power is there. Ano, grabe talaga ang power ng brain. True, so this this true. leads to my other question though. Kasi like for example, ganyan, no? ramdam na ramdam mo pero hindi ma-diagnose ng doctor or walang physical manifestation. Now, 
Siyempre may stigma yan eh, parang sa, sa tingin sa'yo, parang ay lokal-lokaret yan, o di kaya ay nakulam na yan. So how do we address it? as as uh, ano as a um, tawag ito, human being that is uh, revolving around the society, how do we address that stigma po? Apa. So first and foremost, uh, gusto ko mo nang i-share yung harmful effects ng stigma. No? Bago ako mag- maganda ng question mo, Jess, uh, intertwined lang siya dun muna sa harmful effects ng stigma. Stigma, uh, uh, mga kababayan, ay more on the outlook na it leads to discrimination and at the same time, pag sinabi mong may, may stigma, yung judgment ng iba sa'yo that stems from lack of understanding maaari sa, la- sa level nila on information and facts. And then hindi lang mag-judge sa'yo eh. So yung harmful effects yan, syempre, uh, meron kang reluctance to seek help or treatment kasi nahihiya ka. Ang ganda na intro mo, ang kangina, gandang jest na to the point na ito yung mga bagay na hindi pinag-uusapan kahit ng society natin kasi feeling natin nakakahiya. Which is maling-mali ito dahil hindi mo nakoconfront, hindi ka nakakapagsik ng help. No? So uh, it leads to bullying as well kasi you're allowing people to, to say something against you uh, or about you and then sometimes it leads to physical harassment you know among so many aspects mm-hmm. no mm-hmm. so may mga steps on how to cope with the stigma ito na yung major na question mo so mm-hmm. first uh, if you feel like you possess some of the characteristics na mamaya mas expound ko pa i guess um pag lumalim yung ating discussion uh, seek help no binsan may mga tao na gusto lang nila na mapakinggan sila tapos na na i-ease out na yung feeling nila kasi wala pa naman sila talaga dun sa uh, wala pa sila dun sa pinakang uh, mataas na level ng ng ano ng disorder eh halimbawa so halimbawa this, ano pa lang siya borderline disorder so nakukuha pa yan sa pakikinig sa makinig ka lang magbigay ka ng 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 ano sa kanila paraan para ma-reframe yung yung mind nila gumagana hmm. Unless, get treatment para yung stigma talaga mawala. Kasi syempre, the moment na kumuha ka ng, ng, ng health, yung stigma nawawala, Jess, eh, di ba? So, mahalaga okay. yon Tapos, internal to you, napakahalaga talaga ng mindfulness. May mindfulness expert tayo in a while. That, let that be expounded there. Pero yung, yung self-doubt and shame kasi, nawawala mm-hmm. yun pagka-aware ka about your strengths and you're confident about your, your, your real self. So, yung mm-hmm. sense of self, mm-hmm. yan, yung stigma na wawala yan. Eh. You can easily mm-hmm. conquer or say na, hey, I'm not the illness itself. No? Yeah. Ang, ang mali kasi dun sa iba, sinasabing, I have schizophrenia. I have, yes. I, I, I mean, I am uh, I yeah. depressive. O, dapat lang sasabihin mo, I have depression. Hindi ikaw yung disease. You have the disease. So, magkaiba you pa rin siya. Sa, so, sa mindset, magkaiba pa rin siya. Eh. Mas iba yung gravity niyan. Eh. No? So, okay, yung, yung self-doubt and shame, uh, mahalaga na uh, na-address mo na uh, aware ka na yeah I have these signs true mm-hmm. and, mm-hmm. I need to do something about it no so okay. yun nga binanggit natin kasi ilan sa mga on a personal level ma- mag-exercise kumain ng tama maging selective sa kinakain kasi may mga pagkain nga tayo na pwedeng mag-boost ng happiness na manamura na ay masustansya pa di ba correct so do uh, ang susunod I don't isolate yourself um yung iba talagang pag na-realize nila na ay uh, meron akong uh, manic depressive uh, mm-hmm. type ng disorder yung bang tipong uh, kombinasyon ng depression at saka ng ano ng ng anxiety no uh, na na combination na yan napakahirap na na ano yan na disorder pero lalo mong ina-isolate yung sarili mo hindi ka nagre-relate sa iba uh, mas malaki yung nagiging problema kasi pagka ano in solitude ka eh marami ka na entertain ng mga negativity yes mas 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 napapag-isip ka ng okay. mas marami Take okay your mind work but not on the negative aspect uh, more mm-hmm. on being selective kahit ngayon sa panahon na to Jess mga kababayan natin kaya lalo silang na-agitate no may mga nagpa-magse-send nga sa akin ng mga uh, messages kahit yung ba number of cases na alarming dito at sa Pilipinas Politely, mm-hmm. nagsasabi ako sa kanila, Jess, to be perfectly honest, na uh, I appreciate your updating, uh, but uh, uh, I might as well not receive those updates no? uh, uh, because of so many reasons, no? In- internal. Minsan, may, depende sa personality mo kasi, eh, so may stigma na nga, may personality ka na na ganun, tapos hindi ka pa magiging selective in your reading. Mas malaking impact sa yun yan, Jess, okay. bilang tao na hindi resilient. Itilatan tao, Apo. kasing resilient natin o ng iba, 
na pasahan mo ng pasahan ng mga messages na gano'n, ang dami-dami mong oras sa ganyan, hindi eh, magbasa ka na lang ng, ng libro, ng, ng, mm-hmm. ng mga bagay na may passion ka dati, na wala kang passion uh, ngayon dahil marami ka ng, wala kang oras, no, dati. Oras, I mean, okay. dati. Mm-hmm. Oo, pero ngayon marami kang oras, huwag mong dalagay doon yung oras mo kasi na, that contributes to the negativity and to the susceptibility to the stigma. No. Okay. So uh, next is probably the the last thing I would say is to join a support group, and if you can be visible in speaking out uh, your experience, uh, para lang yan ano kahit ng kay isa sa kalsado di ba na nakaroon mm. siya ng ng ng, ng uh, virus and uh, some virus other uh, some other uh, personalities na lumantad at nagsabi na ito yung adjustment namin. The same din yan sa mga tao na naka-experience. No? Hindi natin sabihin na i-broadcast mo sa mundo, pero I mean, kahit privately sa ibang tao na makakausap mo, just for them to be empowered how you survive, how you you cope, this is very important in confronting the stigma. That in itself will will give you very good vitality and very healthy outlook in life, how you handle things as they are, and how you help other people to grow as well. Lalo na naka-experience ng same experience mo. Oo. Na may pinadaanan ng mga ganyan. May mga guests tayo, may mga, may isi-share na mga ganyan klase mga experiences Amen. before. Oo. So, may other question, Doc, is this Ito. is, ano, itong dalawang to is the most common mental health na um, it's also the most misunderstood. So, people Apo. thought they are depressed when they're actually only sad. So, how can you explain the difference between depression and an and, and anxiety? Ay, nako, na, na, kaya ako nag-smile habang nagtatanong ka kasi katubay sa tag, sa tag, may caller na nagtanong, no? So, oh. ayan, sabi ko, ah, ganda, ah, ikaw ay stress, hindi ka depressed kasi nagbigay ako ng, 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 ng signs. But anyway, to compare the two, may similarity sila tsaka may differences din sila, no? So, pag titingnan mo yung, yung kanilang pagkakaiba, ano, pag ang depressive moods, obviously medyo mababa, low-spirited sila. Mm-hmm. and they lose hope wala silang hope no sila yung tipong gusto na lang basta sumur- mag-survive sila yung napakabigat ng pakiramdam at walang ka-energy energy opposite yon na nararamdaman ng may anxiety no ang taas ng energy uh, i mean in so many levels kaya nga pumping ang kanilang heart eh uh, ang, mm-hmm. ang heart nila mabilis ang may depressive mood hindi nakaka-experience ng ano ng ng restless ng ganyang gra- kagrabing restlessness no oo mas mataas yung irritability ng may anxiety compared sa depressed depression no? ah Bilang okay energy okay. ngayon depression eh ang sa, so sa, like, sa uh, para sa your like oh, oh, I'm tired I don't want to do this energy thing. nila hindi magpanic grabe mag react over oh, yung yung reaction nila may tumunog lang ah, I just go ano to ganyan so panic na agad may mga ganyan na ano na mga aspeto na yung yun yung kaibahan nila no pero ah, okay. yung yung oo yung at some aspect they are almost comparably the same kasi yung iba na ko confuse kung ang tama kay nag-overlap kasi sila no mm-hmm. Each one they have both they both have trouble in sleeping no may okay. sleep problem sila pareho okay uh, troubles in concentrating pareho silang hindi maka-focus no Uh, mm-hmm. kasi nga pareho rin silang may may eating problems, may eating uh, issues. So halos very very close ano doc no kaya pala miss is always misunderstood or interchange yung dalawa. Yes, that's true. It, it's just that low yung mood ng depressive, high mm-hmm. yung mood ng ano na anxiety, na may anxiety. Apo. Okay. Ayan siya. May other may 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 ano may may isang ano ako do kasi palagi ko naririnig sa mga Filipino sila. Oh my god, the situation was so depressing. Uh, ano depressing parang hindi ko na alam kung anong gagawin ko. Now, knowing Aba. Filipinos, they are very um we're naturally easy going kasi or Aba. um parang naka, naka, we, we we ano nakakatawa tayo sa mga sitwasyon na very difficult. How do you think um yung ating mga kapwa Filipinos would cope up specifically this crisis? Apo. Ba- bago ako punta dyan, Jess, no, baka kasi malimutan Apo. ko yung aspect ng ano, balik ako dun sa last question mo. Kasi na-remember ko sa depression, talagang mayroong suicidal thoughts no, na absent yes. naman Uh-oh. sa anxiety disorder. So oh, yung mga okay. uh, extreme cases, yung mga, yung mga nagpatiwakal, nagpa, nag-attempt na magpakamatay. No? So Uh-oh. may kita mo rin yung, yung, ano na yan, yung aspect na yan. Tsaka let me just give 
very good uh, ad- addition information bago ko pumunta dun sa question mo, Jess, na mm-hmm. mas prone yung mga babae po na magkaroon ng depressive episodes dahil sa Ay, dalawang bakit? factors. Apo, sa dalawang factors, one of which is brought by age and one yung pangalawang variable na ay yung gender. No? So sa age kasi, it's relative. Okay. At ang babae po, mag, mag-reach na kayo halimbawa ng menopausal stage or close to that. Ang dami nyo na di bang mga, uh, mga imbalances. Mga hormonal or changes, oo. Mm. So, eh, ang estrogen level sa babae, obviously, is not the same as as high as uh, what you normally experience kung hindi ka pa doon sa aging uh, uh, na state. Uh-oh. So pag, pag bumunta ka na ng 45 50 depends on the the cycle of the biological cycle of a particular uh, woman uh, hindi lang yan sa aspect ng nagwo-worry ka na kasi yung skin mo nag-iba na rin yung texture dahil nga yung sa estrogen level mo na bumaba pero yung aspect ng estrogen kasi pag bumaba siya contributory din siya para hindi mag hindi maging sobrang active yung port yung uh, enough uh, percentage or dosage ng ng ilang hormones na responsible din dun sa production ng ano mo ng happiness mo o ng tinatawag natin na mood mm-hmm, no mm-hmm. so it factor yun sa among women kaya minsan may mga araw kayo na nagigising kayo na bakit ganun yung feeling mo hindi lang yan dun sa estrogen per se on mes- menstrual cycle man yan or yung pagkawala ng menstrual cycle ninyo mm-hmm. Okay. So, po. kaya mas maraming ano, mas maraming Kaya pala mas mas talaga. prone ang women. Scientifically okay. proven yan from around the world that there Oof. are more women. Nakatakot tuloy. <laughs> don't quit. Don't quit. Kasi kanina na na discussion point natin sa backstage Uh-oh. kahit yung pag to give birth to a baby dahil yes. may mga hormonal uh, secretions kayo na sobra during lactating period, lactation period uh, among other factors in pregnancy. Nakaka-affect, nakaka-block din yan ng ibang happiness hormones. Okay, okay. right. Yan. So going to your question, Ganda. Oo, doon sa ano. Your, your question nga is more on... Because Philippines are naturally easygoing. So Aba, how do yan. you think we would cope up this ano, with this crisis ngayon? Aba, um, alam nyo, yung culture natin of smiling and resiliency mm. na sabi nga ng, ng mga international writers, alam nyo naman kahit blogging man yan or writing about Filipinos, we are one of the most, um, you know, uh, one of the most competencies we basically have is that ability to really still stand still, help each other, smile in the midst of crisis. Nakakatulong okay. talaga yan. Kasi um, just at yung mga manunod natin na maaaring nakaalam nung, nung dopamine level. No? Yung dopamine naman siya is like, a a, uh, a neurotransmitter o pwede mo rin sabihin na ano na happiness hormones din siya uh-uh, no uh-uh, uh-uh. Yung, yung dopamine is more uh, uh, more on the emotion regulation attention motivation and reward so yes yeah, so yan yung reward na, na feeling eh oo uh, so karamihan po sa ating viewers i would assume uh, since yung degree of influence mo rin Jess, is more on the corporate um na magbigay ka lang ng email acknowledging somebody else's good yes. deed is mm-hmm. already provides a good boost on on feeling ang dopamine feeling, level yes. na sa as yan mm-hmm. pag, pag nabigay ka ng acknowledgement how exactly. much more kung yung di, yung yung aspect na involve yung tap on the shoulder lalo na sa culture po natin no so syempre iba naman yung dito sa area be Uh-oh. careful about touching employees pero <laughs> <laughs> exactly pero yung, Abo, sa pero, culture natin as Filipinos. Sa culture natin. Yung oxytocin naman is a kind of uh, uh, hormones that is generated by by touching or uh, a simple okay. padding. No, na so, so dopamine is more of the, the feeling. The, the, the feeling generated by the physical comment, touch. Uh, uh, mm. In the absence of the physical touch. Yung oxytocin, yeah. love hormones yan. Ah, na so yung, kaya hugging, hugging dog is hug, very exactly, nice. Exactly. Ah, okay. Hugging, uh, a simple tap on the shoulder, you're, you're mm-hmm. doing well. Tapos sinabi mo pa, hinawakan mo pa. Yes, so, uh-oh. Y- may mga malaking effect yan sa state of the mind. But typical Filipino is very prone to that. No, Very appreciative tayo eh. Exactly. So to answer that question, yes. malaking role para ma at least ma decrease yung level of stress, yung level of mm-hmm. yung, yung incompatibility mo sa environment, knowing na may mga ganito tayong circumstance, na cut yung salary mo, na 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 gamit mo yung buong leave mo, then here comes loss of jobs for loss some. Of, yes, exactly. 
Uh-huh. Wala ko talaga yun eh. Pero yung biglang may comment lang sa'yo na, hey, okay, ma- this too will, will come to pass. No? Yeah. Kahit hindi mo ang personal sinabi, nakapag-forward ka ng message. Biglang-bigla, may there's a certain surge or biglaan na bumugso sa'yo na, ay, ang positive naman neto, ang, ang okay. sarap pakinggan. But, no? but what we have to be very careful, Doc, is that for them not to be hmm. Holy Anna. Kasi di ba may tendency kasi ang Philippines, it's because we're very into ano, yung mm. optimistic tayo or so much yes. positivity na meron kang Holy Anna sickness na na. Even if okay. your house is already okay. burning, you Agreed. will still say, oh, I'm still okay. So they, they okay. should also okay, be bayan. careful enough. Uh, yes, exactly. Okay, Recognizing bayan. that okay, this is Tama now ka. a very serious manner to address. We also have to uh, to regulate ng yung ganyang aspeto. No? So, pero exactly. masasabi ko pa rin, prone pa rin tayo, hindi tayo, hindi, wala tayong tick Uh, defense per se. It helps having this kind of culture. Pero it's still internal to us uh, at the end of the day. No? Kung, mm-hmm. Kasi ma- maraming perspective dyan, Jesse, yung perspektibo ba na o pagtingin na, okay, kung kung culture yung perspective na gagamitin ko, nakakatulong talaga. Pero kung individual na perspective ito, yes, uh, mga individual psychology, pwede mo sabihin na iba-iba ang tao sa pag-cope, iba-iba rin ang ating needs, iba-iba yes. rin ang ating trabaho, iba-iba yung, yung uh, degree ng impact ng, ng COVID-19 sa buhay natin. And that's another side of the story, which I would want to deal further. Na hmm. Diyan talaga yung, yung mas... Aspeto na pwede kong sabihin na ah, individual factor pa rin yan. Eh. Personality is one. No, yung personalities natin, different. different. Sabi nga natin kanina, kung mas resilient ka, di, kahit anong dagok dumating sa'yo, adversity quotient mo, mataas. Uh-oh. Yung grit mo, mataas. Lahat to ay social skills. Eh. Uh, pag, pag-equip ka ng social skills, wala magagawa yung in- intellectual skills mo, yung technical skills mo, Jess. So, mm-hmm. experts... Doki, ano ko lang, i- i- gusto ko lang, i- if you could just uh, ponder a little bit on sa ano, yung term na ginamit mo about resilience. Kasi Aba. gusto ko siya i-connect doon sa importance of building that high emotional quotient, adaptability Excellent. and resilience in coping with stress. So, Aba. si resilience, Doc, ano siya sa Tagalog or in layman's terms? Doon sa mga ay, hindi ay, yan, familiar ano, sa uh, word na yun. Pagiging, pagiging matatag. No, so ma- yung, yung iba oh, yung kayang tumayo sa pagka oh, uh-huh. na, 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 na mo yung yung dagok ng buhay mo dahil meron kang disposition na hindi basta hindi ka basta-basta natitinag, no? Okay. So yung 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 aspeto na yan ay mahalaga kasi kumbaga soft skills yan eh. May hard and soft po. Parang brain natin and dichotomy may hard and soft din tayo na tinatawag, mm-hmm. no? And sa hard, uh, ayan magaling ka sa math, sa English, sa science. Magaling ka sa pag-aaral mo, magaling ka sa trabaho mo kasi you know what's happening in your job. Mm-hmm. Pero yung soft skills, hindi yan, hindi yan magkakonekta. Magkahiwalay na magkahiwalay yan, magkaiba sila. So yung, yung disposition mo na kaya mo lahat ng problema, matatag ka, yan yung resiliency natin na soft skills yan eh. No? More in soft mm-hmm. skills. Mm-hmm. Uh, sa siyensya ngayon, sa takbo ng mga pangyayari, ang dami lang mga, Jesse, ang dami lang mga terms na ginagamit. Pero ako bilang oh. into into the practice of psychology or into the teaching of psychology per se. Iisa lang sila, no? So, ang emotional intelligence, paano mo lang hinahandle yung, yung emotion mo, paano mo nire-regulate, paano ka naging aware na ito, magandang emotion to, I will stay foot with it. Ito, negatibo to, ay, tatanggalin ko to sa aking isip at sa nararamdaman ko. No? So, emotional intelligence more on regulation ng ating sarili para pag nakapag-relate tayo sa iba, nakipagkapwa tao tayo, tama yung sinasabi natin at may respeto rin tayo sa iba. Mm-hmm. No? Nakakapag-build ka ng rapport, emotional intelligence yan. Pero ang ang bottom line, yung grit natin, yung grit naman yes. is more on perseverance. No? Mm-hmm. More, so, more or less, sabi ng iba, ang laki ng connection nung, nung mga aspeto na yan, iba-iba lang natin tinatawag. Pero soft skills lahat sila eh. Kung titingnan mo, ah, lahat yan ay uh, bumabagay, umaangkop doon sa pagkukup mo. So kung mahina, kahit ang talino mo, kung wala yung, yung soft skills mo, hindi mo ma-handle itong mga problema na to eh. Mas prone ka doon sa, yung it doesn't follow that you're good in math, English, science, you can be a good leader. So kung leader ka, nandyan yung emotional regulation, paano mo ino-organize yung trabaho mo para nakaka-fit in ng iba sa'yo. Mentally healthy ka eh, pag good leader ka eh, di ba? So, wala yung kinalaman sa galing mo sa, sa academics mo. Kasi okay. to, different ang technical skills sa soft skills. So, sabi natin, the higher the job, the habang tumataas yung trabaho mo, mas mataas yung yung kailangan mo ng soft skills. Kasi, soft skills, di ma-manage ka. Uh-huh. 
Kaya mas palagi sa masakit ang ulo. <laughs> True. Kasi yung, uh, hindi na physical ang pinapagana, kundi yung ano na, um, True. utak. True yan. True, mm-hmm. True yan. So, so Jess, pumapasok tayo dun sa aspeto na kung ikaw ang tao na talagang may awareness ka sa mga nangyayari, yung mindfulness, mamaya may expert tayo dyan, Uh-oh. no? Napakahalaga niya, nare-regulate mo kasi yung emotion may Alam mo kung kailan ka dapat na isipin to at gawa mm-hmm. ng paraan. At kailangan mo muna isuspend, i-avoid at yes. some extent, no? At balikan na lang some other time. Kasi may mga strategies tayo na ganyan na delaying tactics para, re- para rin ma-attendan mo yung mas mahalagang bagay na, na dapat mo ma-ibalanse. Ma- ma- sa buhay mo no. So, uh, yung question mo Jess, yung mga aspeto na yun, yung mga terms na binanggit mo, uh, emotional intelligence o yung kanina na banggit ko yung adversity quotient. Yan yung for, for me it's still very relative to resilience no. Pag mataas yung resiliency mo, uh, yes. mataas yung adversity quotient mo. Na, yung adversity eh, pro, yung paano mo hinaharap yung problema at paano mo tinatanggap yun eh. So, so to solution, uh, ano, solution focus instead of problem focus. Exactly. Exactly. So, yung pagmataas yan, malayo ka doon sa mga disorder. True, meron kang at some extent sumasadsad ka sa poor mental health, gaya ng question mm-hmm. mo kang mm-hmm. But not exactly mental illness. no? Okay. Lahat so, tayo dumadating sa point na grabe yung hagupit ng buhay sa atin eh. Yes. Sometimes Marami tayong mga ano, mamaya may guest tayong may ganyan doc na pinagdaanan oh. mga hagupit sa buhay. I see, I see. Oh. So, kita mo yan na lahat naman tayo darating sa point na may mawawala sa mahal natin sa buhay. My mom, yes. I, I, I lost my mom in 2015. So, it's how you handled it, no? Uh, na oh totoo sumadsad yung ano mo, yung mental health mo na nag dumating ka dun sa point na uh, feeling mo talagang nandun ka na sa depressive state pero when you come to think of it nakakope ka naman no so hindi rin okay. necessarily mental health disorder but mental health poor mental health na as a as a, as a stage no mm, Ayan, okay attention. okay doc may mga questions tayo maya maya ipa i, ano we're going to ask it um yeah. towards the end of our presentation pero i just wanted to ano to take this benefit kasi kanina na miss out natin from the first part of our um live na hindi hindi ano nap, nap, nun pinakilala kita so guys Apo. for those who are just tuning in i just wanted to remind that we have an expert joining us this afternoon and that's doc romel um uh, uh, pilapil now as sabi ko kanina dun sa una naming sessions na nakat off lang is that he holds ano multiple degrees um aside from professor siya ng Canadian University a phd siya um in counseling psychology sa Dilasal, and then PhD naman siya in management, in HR management sa Liverpool, UK. O di ba, bongga, UK. And aside from that, sabi ko, maliban dun sa napakarami niya mga awards, ang isa sa pinaka, uh, ano sa akin, tumatak sa akin, was the Presidential Award for Outstanding Filipino Overseas. Kasama ko rin po si Doc Romel um, sa Illustrados 300 Most Influential Filipinos in the Gulf. And aside from that, meron siyang uh, Top 50, no? na recognized siya, Top 50 Global Educators Award and all of the others. Ang pinaka ano sa kanya is yung kanyang advocacy of helping um, ang mga kapwa natin Filipinos dito sa Middle East and sa iba pang panig ng mundo. And Doc, as, as, as I remember, you're also working or uh, collaborating with Tito uh, Art and Tita L for doing some... Uh, May mga ginagawa kayong mga charity works um, outside of the, the countries, right? Oo. Apo, so, apo. maya-maya po is that uh, meron project kasi si Doc na we would want to promote to everybody. Before we um, close the session, ipopost po natin yan mamaya to help others on where they could seek help. Now, apo. please stay tuned kasi we will be answering some of your questions. But before that, I would like to acknowledge some people who have joined us this afternoon who have been very, very patient kasi nga naputol tayo dun sa ating unang session. So, we've got Lola Quintilia, si Jen Michaela Cortez. Thank you so much. We have Cheryl Ann Ramos. We also have Chito, who is um, also posting a few questions. We have Grace, si Lani, si Amory. We have my auntie for all the way from Philippines, si Jocelyn Quintilia. We've got also Tito Art. Hello, good afternoon po. And then we have Lace Lynn. We have si Jing Den. We have si Perseverancia. We've got um, si uh, Gilbert Saliba. We have Tata in there. Hello, good afternoon po sa inyo lahat. We have Richelle, yung ating uh, mga advocates naman sa Vista Lan. And we have Anesty. We have Luchi. Nandiyan din si Michelle. Hello, Michelle Ginto. Good afternoon sa iyo. Kumusta ang beauty ganda? And we also have si Mira. We have si Jane. Nandiyan si Edwin, si Marlis. May andami po natin nakatune in, Doc. Yeah. Please, guys, po 
post in some comments, your questions. Kung meron po kayong gustong i-share, feel free to do that po sa ating chat. We have also Jane D. Hi, Jane. All the way from Cagayan de Oro. Anong oras na dyan? We have Jerty also <laughs> tuning in. We have Fredilyn, yung aking cousin, all the way from um, Cagayan de Oro. We have Edlyn, si Aljon. Hi. Shireen, ang aking barkada. Um, we've got Sandra. We have April, si Jamar. We have Jade. Si Dr. Jade! Hello! How are you? Hi, Doc. Hi. Nandiyan si Doc Jade. And then si Hello. Wendy. I think Wendy is Canada. All the way. Hi, Wens. Then we have Gifred. We have Hayden. We have uh, si Mel. We have Melba. Uh, Melma. We have Jenny. Beth. We have Yosef. So a lot of people are tuning in this afternoon. Guys, please um, share your comments, um, ask questions. Um, we will be sharing a lot of information with you tonight. Um, so, Doc, um, I'm going to then segue our section doon naman din sa ating um, additional guest. So ipapakilala ko lang po muna yung ating three additional guests who will be joining us on the, ano, the discussion tonight. So of course, we have Cheryl Bakay Agbing. Um, sila pong tatlo ay HR professionals and have been practicing um, uh, as HR for more than 10 years. So currently siya yung ating um, human capital business partner ng isang energy company based in Abu Dhabi. Kasama ko din po siya sa 100 most influential Filipinos in the Gulf. Um, isa po sa mga founder ng PhilHR, yung ating Filipino HR organization na sa uh, isang dekada na po kami. And then we have um, siya din po ang chairman ng Entrepreneurial Integration Program and the founder po ng isang charity ng Banalo Elementary School Foundation. So that, yan po si Cheryl, a mother of um, a 20-year-old son. O, oh, ba? Yan. Hi, Cheryl. How are you? Nakamute ka, she. Let me just unmute you for now. Ayan. Hi, she. How are you? Hi. Ang halawa na to. Good evening. Magandang okay. hapon ko pala <laughs> sa inyong lahat. Yan. And then with that, our, our second guest naman, or pangatlo na nating guest, is si Catherine Ordonez Rivera. So, si Catherine is clinical psychology ng uh, PU. Kasama ko rin po siya sa 2016 Top 100 Most Influential Filipinos in the Gulf. And then, isa din po sa mga former president ng PhilHR and, uh, no, and a COA member. Founder po siya ng So Kindness, Reap Happiness. Mamaya, ipapakita natin sa inyo yung kanyang corporate social responsibility. Siya ang ating C uh, so COO ng Harvest Cafe and Bistro and a mother of, just me yung Marimar, a mother of three. Hindi ko kakain. Hi, Kat. How are you? Hello, everyone. <laughs> Ayan. O ba mother of three na ang mukha na yan, hindi halata. <laughs> Mamaya pag-usapan natin yung kanya mga pinagdadaanan being a mother. Okay? And lastly naman, yung ating guest is si Coach Joe, um, Joseph and Dilapaz. 16 years na po siya sa HR. And then, um, kaya ang tawag namin sa kanya is coach kasi certified po siya na coach under, uh, under a, ano, ICF or International Coaching Federation. So, she's got the right qualifications po. And then, of course, um, CIPD din siya under Learning and Development Practice. Isa sa mga co-founders din ng uh, Phil HR and past officer. And of course, um, uh, member din po siya ng COA. So, Joe, how are you? Let me just add in Joe. Hi, kumusta ka? Hi. Hello, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Oh, ayan. So, thank you so much, guys, for joining us this afternoon. So, our topic po is about how's your mental health? Kaya sabi ko nga doon sa aking post, diba, na according to World Health Organizations, people with severe mental disorders are especially vulnerable during emergencies and need access to mental health care and other basics, basic needs. This is the reason po why we have actually decided to run this Facebook Live to be able to help a lot of people that are um, uh, suffering um, mental, poor mental health at the moment. So our question is, what is your state of mind at the moment? <coughs> How are you feeling um, with the current situation? Um, I know how, how are we coping up or do you know someone who might be experiencing poor mental health and do they know how to deal with it? So dito po natin sasagutin lahat yan this afternoon. There you go. Good afternoon sa inyong lahat. So, Dok, tatanungin ko lang muna yung ating mga additional guests. Um, kasi the reason why I have invited them, kasi maliban sa their HR professionals, and as I, we've mentioned nga kanina offline, that it, it intertwines with our role as being HR to be able to be ano, um, resilient and high EQ to deal with 
ano, mga employees natin. So, aside from that kasi, they are, they are also the people that I know that have experienced adversities in life. And sila yung nakilala ko na, even if they have experienced that, o, oh, di ba, may mga ganong factor, yeah. they were still able to rise above it all. Mm-hmm. O, oh, di ba, yung mga ganong factor. Right. So, tatanungin ko lang muna. So, I'm going to go through with uh, Cheryl first. Um, what was the the most difficult experience you had Um and then how how did you and how did you manage to stay afloat or get out of it? May disclaimer ba ito, Jessie? <laughs> <laughs> May disclaimer. <laughs> I I have experienced a lot. Uh medyo mahaba-haba po ang listahan, but I think the most I na pwede kong i-categorize as the uh pinaka matinde na dagok na dumating sa buhay ko ay uh, when my first marriage failed nung nagkaroon okay. ng it, it affected everything uh, para siyang 360 degrees ang effect sa buhay ko and ng anak ko so what was the next question again Jessie? <laughs> so how, how did you ano how did you stay afloat or get out from it kasi it, we, we will be talking about ko ano yung mga pinagdaanan mo and what was your mental state of mind at that stage oh, and how did uh, you ano come out of it ngayon uh, i would say na maayos kong nadala yon i was able to uh, come up um, vi- ano ako victoriously uh, from that situation but it was difficult nung panahon na yon hindi ko naiintindihan kung ano ang mental health or mental Uh-oh. illness uh, nung pinagdadaanan ko ang mga bagay na yon what i have is yung resiliency siguro and i didn't know that i have that resiliency also uh, so ganun siya kahirap but i was able to came up because marami akong uh, uh, maraming support system na nakuha along the way and siguro yun yung yung state of mind nandun yung yeah. Uh, I, I think it's inborn. I'm really not sure. Hindi ko siya naki, narinig rin na kay Doc, but Doc can can explain well. Parang uh, pinanganak ako na meron ng ganong kalakas na loob. Oh, 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 fighter. Mm. So Saba. even though ganun katindi ang pinagdaanan ko, uh, maayos akong naka, nakawala doon sa sitwasyon. But mind mm. you guys, dinaanan ko yung uh, hindi naman ako nagkaroon ng mental illness I, I mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure about that because nakinig ako ng maayos sa sinabi ni Doc and <laughs> I was thinking uh, check ba ako doon sa mga sinabi but a few of them I think nandun na ako sa in between the mental illness and I was in a very bad state of mental health nandun ako sa time na pagpapasok ako sa office I can't concentrate nabibitawan ko ang baso ng coffee yung hawak yes. mo yung coffee Yes, yes, tawala lang yung kwento niya. You don't yan. know what's going on around yep. you. So, mm-hmm. yun. Huwag right. na nating masyadong pahabain. Huwag na nating masyadong pahabain. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, Doc Romel wanted to talk about yung risk factor. Um, so, kasi sinabi ni Cheryl, Doc, na parang parang hindi ko man lang na, naramdaman yun kasi I, I felt that I was a fighter. So, ano yun, sino, sino po ba yung mga risk or ano ang mga risk factor para magkaroon ng ganong klaseng um, uh, issue? Ayan, um, yung na, na, na kuha ko talaga yung straight na sinabi ni Cheryl at eh, saka yung aspect na uh, na-acquire ba yun kasi born fighter siya and all that. May, may ano yun, may resemblance yun dun sa social factor at saka dun sa physiological factor. Sa social factor mo na, kang ina, Jess, kung maalala mo, yung, yung uh, prelude o yung introduction na question mo has something to do with what mental health is, which is yes. also the opposite of mental illness, no? Mm-hmm. O, o kahit mental mental health uh, issue or problem man yan, or poor mental health. So yung social factor yun kay kay ano kay she na pumapasok yung marital status doon, socioeconomic status kung talagang mahirap yung buhay natin, no? So yung so, social factor yan pumapatas sa so, socioeconomic kan sa sabi ng iba. Uh, uh, major family conflict uh, that includes marital status nga poor social support sa case ng okay. iba na pinipin, neglected sila, napabayaan sila social factor yan eh no? yung biological factor na binanggit ko rin sa, sa definition or what we call physical factors or biological factors other than binanggit ko kanina na age and se- uh, gender or, or sex comorbid disease no? so ibig sabihin mm. Um, nalaman mo na halimbawa si ex si ex client ay uh, nalaman niya na meron siyang heart disease which is very uh, which is uh, ang morbidity level ay mataas uh, lalo na yung nalaman mo na meron ka halimbawa lang na um, breast cancer which is also a terminal mm. disease 
So mm-hmm. the fact na nalaman mo na nauna, meron ka ng terminal disease, na sinundan pa, we call this comorbidal, comorbid disease. No? So ang taas ng build-up ng, ng, ano sa'yo niya, ng depression, No, at, at yung mga nagte-take sa atin, uh, I'm not sure kung meron sa inyo. Ako borderline diabetic ako eh. So, Uh-oh. yung yung diabetic treatment, guys, ay ang laki ng factor. Marami may inhibitor 'yan ng 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 ating uh, happiness hormones, yung component nung nung intake natin na medicine. So, diabetic treatment is actually you're prone to depression din pag meron ka niyan, no? I mean, pag meron okay. kang diabetes. Kaya yung iba na nagugutom, lalo na yung fasting blood, merong fasting blood glucose na state, mm-hmm. ay inhibitor din yan para sa it, sa ating uh, happiness hormones. Kasi obviously, hindi nag-generate na tamang neurotransmitter yung brain natin. Therefore, nakaka-apekto sa hormonal uh, imbalance natin. No? At ayun po, yung binagit ko na kangina na physically, kapag ka mabigat po tayo, we have a lot of fatty acids in the body, body mass index indicates Yeah. Uh, proneness to uh, uh, depression particularly no um meron okay. ding aspect uh, meron ding aspect ng psychological unemployment ngayon no meron po tayong unemployment uh, marami sa atin kababayan ang nagsuffer financial stress negative life events mm-hmm. uh, Smoking is part of uh, <laughs> ngayon. <laughs> Nakariyak kami ni Cheryl, oh, smoking joke. Okay. Kaya po siya pumapasok sa psychological factor kasi parang hindi mo kapag hindi ka na pang release ko, Dok. Pag na-stress ako, oh, parang, uh, sasabihin ko yun, sana yun, Dok, paano yun nahahappy ako pag do, ganun? Doon mo siya ina-associate kasi eh. So wrong assimilation sa ganda, wrong assimilation, kumbaga wrong rational, wrong reasoning yes. siya. Na, yung yung iba't iba hindi sabi nila they, it's difficult for them to remove their feces no hindi sila nakakadumi agad-agad yes. pag hindi sila uh-huh. nakakapag so, but that's um, kasi state of the mind siya eh na you're justifying your behavior with that particular act no so yun okay. na nagiging problema no? <laughs> so smoking is now part of the psychological risk factor sabi dito ng mga experts okay. so, and of course yung smoking uh, mm-hmm. uh, at among others among other things uh, she is right na yung sa aspect ng pagiging fighter uh, sa sa tinatawag po natin na dichotomy of uh, uh, of uh, passing on from one generation to another yung yung composition ba ng kung sino tayo ngayon kahit Uh-oh. naayos yung pagpapalaki sa atin ng ating mga magulang, maganda yung uh-huh. na pinasok natin. Uh-huh. Pero kung isa sa parents natin, sobrang negatibo at most likely naka-experience na ng disorder in the past, wala kang control doon, unfortunately. You can be one of the most pessimistic uh, people of all time just because two of your parents or one of them happened to have it. Mm-hmm. So that's also being okay. passed on. And as much as resiliency, no? yung positivity and some other... Uh, very good values or good values that we have that were uh, passed on to us uh, through genes. Unfortunately, uh, uh, pessimistic behavior is also rooted to that. Na pag na-blown mm. yun out of proportion, it can be depression, it can be anxiety as a result, you know, in, in the process. Pag na-trigger yun. Okay. Ayun. And, uh, ayun yung mga factors na kailangan natin bantayan, ha? Kasi that is, that will give you, ano, parang ticket to that me- ano, mental poor mental health. I'm going to ask Kathy. Um kasi as a mother of three, three. 'di ba? Para hindi ko siya ma-imagine isa nga lang hilong-hilo na ako doc. Ano pa kaya umay tatlo? Ba? As a mother of three, kasi multitasker din ang a wife, a sister, and a daughter and a friend. Um with this current situation Kath, and it's you've just recently gave birth, right? So what are your fears? Ano yung what are the things that you're anxious about and how do you face them at this stage? Okay, uh, as a mother of three, actually the first thing na nahirapan ako when it comes to adjustment is how are you going to handle all those three in harmony? Like you're having a baby, then you're having a toddler and a mid-toddler. So you don't know how you can cope with that. Plus, mm-hmm. on top of that, your responsibilities mo sa corporate world as an HR, na parang ikaw ang nanay din ng company. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Plus, running a business on the side and being a wife and a daughter. So how we are going to balance all all those things? Yun yung pinaka challenging na na-experience ko. 
Okay. Mm. So 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 far bakas may mga times ba where may follow up question talaga ako no. May mga uh, times ba na kuno question mo ang sarili mo na oh I'm not good enough. I failed at this part. Oh women can't have it all. May mga ganong klase. Yes, yes, yes. Mar- maraming ano, maraming times na you will question yourself, am I doing the right thing? Am I being a good mother? Kasi minsan 'di ba pag stress ka o yung stress level mo mataas, yung napapasigaw ka or oh. nagagalit ka agad, madali kang yeah. maiirita. Or yes. even without your intention na magalit yung asawa mo, minsan nasisinghalan mo. <laughs> Or minsan, <laughs> iba nasisamutan mo without any reason. Kasi nung yes. pala, okay ka lang, bakit bala ako nagtaas ng boses? Bakit ko pala siya nasigawan? Without uh-huh. any reason. Pero yun pala is within you. It's something that is happening sa hormones, maybe. Kaya nga, yes. after kong mga anak, nag-search ako about postpartum disorder. Yeah or yung mga baby blues. Kasi yeah. at, at some point, parang bigla ko nilang naiiyak without any reason. That, I don't know kung bakit. Maybe uh-huh. it's... Oo. Regarding this ano COVID pandemic and all, syempre, lahat ng na, lahat tayo, we're into uncertainties, di ba? You don't know when are you gonna have your job, when are you gonna keep your job, or kung kailan ka... Alam mo yun, yung mga mangyayaring mga uncertainties yes. when it comes to your work, when it comes to your family, uh-huh. when it comes to your... Self, tapos ang dami mong pang nababasa sa social media, like, <laughs> yes. yes, and also, parang para sa akin, it's too overwhelming to process. Parang, Uh-oh. ano na to, parang how do I keep myself sane? Yes, so, yes. So, yung mga nangyari na to, so, yun. So, anong ginawa mo? What did you do na para ma- ma-contain mo yung ganong klaseng emotions? Okay. Akala ko itatawa, uh, what did I do nung umiiyak ako, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, ako, parang, third day na tayo sa hospital, parang naiyak ka nila without any reason. I don't know oh. if it is overwhelming tears or yung yun nga, yung, yung, yung kaba dahil mother of three ka yeah. na or paano ka babalik. Right. So how do I cope with that? So first, importante kasi yung meron kang self-awareness. Yung, yeah. You are acknowledging that something is going on about yourself and yeah. ano mo ba yun address It's very, very important admitting to yourself na you are going through this phase. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. awareness, acknowledgement na you're going through this phase. Tapos very important then na you have your husband, your partner, and your support system with you mm-hmm. na din sila and they understand what you're going through. Like for example, um, meron mga times na I'm talking to my husband na I feel this way or mm-hmm. I mean that way or parang nafe-feel ko parang um, masyado ako nagsusungit kay uh, do sa anak ko or something mm-hmm. so, you let them know how do you feel so yun yung yun yung pangalawa the people they... around you are also aware of what's your state of mind at the moment na parang hindi lang ako uh, nag-iimbento na nagagalit lang ako basta-basta or naiiyak <laughs> so maybe it's the hormonal changes na pinagdadaanan yeah. ko diba yeah. tapos yeah. you look for people you look for people na outside from your group, like yung bagong panganak din, like kay Lori, minsan tinatawagan ko siya, like ha, ano, uh, uh, kahit mo lang, yung kakausapin mo lang, alam mo yun, uh-huh, uh-huh. parang change of environment lang, yung parang may makausap ka lang, or someone na sometimes gusto mo lang yung may makakaintindi sa'yo, or may mag-listen lang. You don't okay. need you just yes. need somebody to listen. Yung ma-release mo lang kung ano yung nararamdaman mo. Nararamdaman. Oh. Very important yung support system then ano? Yes, correct. Yes. Okay. Saka meron nga kaming, di ba, tasking. So, para hindi overwhelming para sa akin physically. Oo, you so, divide the task. Mag-assign ka ng task dun sa husband mo na ikaw mapapaligo ka in the morning. Ako oh. sa night shift. After you. Diba? Good thing nandiyan yung mother ko. Hindi oh. ka may food na o nakakabawas ng stress level. Exactly, so, oo. Okay, thank you very much, Kat. I'm going to ask Jo naman. Kasi Jo kasi, um, her family have relocated back to uh, Philippines na. So, she's living with her, um, I think, mga pamangkin, ano, Jo, um, that are with you at the moment. So, nung pumuto kasi yung COVID, Jo, so obviously, malayo ka dun sa iyong um, immediate family. So, uh, how did you cope up with it? Kasi I know that you've been practicing mindfulness for um, a, a long time na. So, Paano mo siya pinractice agad na, okay, this is it, this is the time for me na i-practice sa lahat yung aking, ano, yung aking uh, habit na binabago. Anong ginawa mo? Uh, first of all, uh, gusto ko lang muna i-acknowledge si, ano, si Dr. Romel no, sa no, mga no. shinare niya kanina. Thank you very much. It's very, very useful and very, very relevant 
uh, I was able to resonate sa mga sinabi niya kanina yung tungkol sa connection ng physical and mental which is very close sa coaching. Mm-hmm. Um, na talagang it's, it's all about it's mind matters na marami talaga ang, uh, ang magagawa ng how do we um, process our thinking Aba. sa magiging uh, action natin. Um, mm-hmm. How do I cope up um, away from my family? Um, connect, connection, like I stay connected. Yun yung sa ano ngayon eh, um, sa nangyayari, I think uh, kanina sinabi rin ni Cathy yung support system. For me, um, importante that we stay connected. Yun yung ginawa kong approach. Not only with the family and uh, sa ano rin, um, yung connection with God. Yun. Okay, oo. Yung, uh, yung, ito, yung, ano? ito yung best, oo, ito yung best, ito talaga yung time na um, where you really need to be connected dun sa core, sa core mo. Mm-hmm. sa things that uh, matters to you parang sa akin um, parang if I link back sa mga ginagawa ko sa coaching our values plays very important role sa mga nangyayari ngayon Correct. babalik ka talaga sa ang importante sa buhay mo ngayon in these challenging times and yun din yung sabi ni Cheryl na back to basic yun yung sa akin mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. If, if all okay. those values are thick and they're all fine then you are you feel more comfortable that you are safe okay for example so, so, ano, one of your values um, is that yes, exactly. health ganyan mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. kumbaga kung sa tingin mo okay naman ang health nila safe sila it makes you less worrying yeah. kasi yun yung value sa mga values mo eh so yun yun yung yun yung doon ko siya pina-practice at the moment i go back to my values ano ba mm-hmm. siya ngayon where is where are they at the moment okay ba sila or hindi If they're okay and I take that aspect, then okay na, magle-let go na muna ako. So you only Parang worry ganun. on things that you can control. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. ang, ang, ang follow-up question ko dyan, Jo, is that how do you instill that um, type of mindset to others around you? Kasi it's very important, diba? especially if you're practicing mindfulness, kailangan kasi the people that you're surrounded with are also doing that para mas, para mas magaan ang iyong environment. How do you instill that to others? Um, sa akin, yung parang you first uh, apply it on yourself. Yung kumbaga, um, we, we can only influence that much. Eh. We can mm. only influence uh, people, pero mm. in a certain mm. level lang. Uh, mm. at, the, at the end of the day, sila pa rin, choice pa rin nila. Um, how do I do it? Like, I do it in myself. I apply it on myself. Parang, right. parang ganun. That's, that's, how, that's how I um, try to influence. Mm. Okay. Now, ito naman is tanong ko sa inyo apat. Um, in this current situation, alam naman natin, it's very, very uncertain. Our life, health, work are at risk. Um, it's being threatened by an enemy that we couldn't see. Um, how do you find peace and calm? And <laughs> how do you practice? Alam mo yung ganun, kasi sa situation ngayon, di ba? Paano nyo siya pinapractice na you will, you will remain at the peace a peaceful state in a calm, calm environment. So, mauuna si Doc Romex siya na sa una sa okay, screen ko sa taas. Aba, so yung yung sa akin ano, I find time, yung kangina sa physical aspect mahalaga rin talaga 'yun eh. Pero at the same time, I juggled it with or binam binimix and match ko rin siya, siya doon sa relaxation state no. Part ng ng mindfulness kasi you need to find a space in your home or a time wherein you can reflect. Well, of course, prayer is integrated to that. But minsan nga, pag, uh, sa madaling araw, pag magigising ako, parang sasabihin ko sa sarili ko, ito yung perfect time. Not just to be to communicate with with God, but also to communicate with myself. That there is such thing as as mindfulness there. Kasi yung, yung, yung tranquility, yung peace of the moment, it, it, yun talagang hinihintay mo eh. Minsan yung araw sa buong araw, naka-online ka, you work at home. At una, ang, ang ganda lang ang telecommuting, pero pag pagkatapos ng one week, nakaka-drain. Oh, no? na pala siya. Ay, oh, tao ka lang. Talagang masasabi mo na ako, mm-hmm. ko, ang iba pa rin talaga yung physical workspace na kahit sa classroom ko, oh. nakatayo ka, nakakalakad ka, may interaction Totoo. ka sa mga bata. Mm-hmm. Ay dito kahit i-unmute mo sila, 
nawawala sila sa linya that in itself can, it <laughs> can trigger your ano your 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 uh, sensitivity na nako mm. bakit hindi connected blah 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 so you need to find time in a day na a perfect moment not exactly a fixed time but find time for yourself and for your holy creator para rin meron bang peace within na doon ka nakakapag-isip calmly things that you mm-hmm. can control doon do mo naiisip na it, ito yung mga bagay na sabi nga ni Joe kang na mahalaga sa akin at sa pamilya ko so doon ka lang mag-deal no? so okay. yan yun at yung ano but by the way sorry last uh, last uh, uh, doon sa pointer ng on the physical I mean on the personal aspect guys kailangan nyo rin talaga yung light not, not just literally na, na sunlight pero Have your time kahit 15 to 20 minutes na nasa veranda nyo, lumabas kayo. Kasi hindi mo kayo pwede sure talagang sure sure alien. No? Kasi hindi lang yun vitamin D. Uh, kundi marami tayong ha- happiness hormones na active nga sa umaga. Lalo na pagka sunlight yan. May direct uh, ano, contact sa'yo ang, ang, ano, ang sunlight. Yung anak mo, sama mo lang sa'yo. Nagkukentuhan kayo sa veranda habang nagre-recess sa online. Ano, diba? May mga ganyang aspect. O coffee mo na 15 to 20 minutes early in the morning. Uh, wag yung masyadong tirik na tirik yung araw kasi alam nyo naman, skin cancer din na makukuha mo dyan, di ba? <laughs> regulate mo din. Pero alam nyo ang halaga nun kasi yung, yung, yung binanggit ko kanina na serotonin or endorphin levels natin, morning active yung hormones, happiness hormones na yan eh. And mas na, na-enhance pa yan, hindi lang sa exercise, kundi yung heat of the sun. Kahit 15 to 20 minutes. Mm. Mm, okay. And we will see the gloomy uh, yung gloomy mood mo na mag-fade out yan. At mas happy yung outlook mo. You can't explain bakit ang taas ng stamina mo, gabi na, mataas pa yung energy mo. Mm, okay. For that purpose. Uh, yun, yun Thank you so much, Doc. Um, Sherin? Okay. Uh, sa akin kasi, uh, matagal na akong nag-change ng lifestyle. So, Uh-oh. even before this pandemic, uh, marami akong in-adjust sa, sa lifestyle ko, sa buhay ko. So, I was able to train myself and it took me seven years uh, wow. to, yeah, to really practice yung focusing on what I have now. Ako kasi warrior ako eh, before. Yung I always, ano, there are so many things going on in circle with my thoughts. Mm. Marami akong iniisip because of what happened in the past and what will happen in the mm. future. Nagmamadali mm. ako sa mga bagay-bagay. And uh, I think yung yung uh, strategy na ginawa ko na yon na I really learned to focus on on what we have now on now uh, understanding what's going on katulad yes. ng nangyayari na pandemic ngayon and then really focusing on uh, things that I can control and be able to adjust yun yung nagawa ko siya and it took me seven years to do that then I also started doing meditation <laughs> marami mm-hmm. akong online meditation techniques na ginagawa and just very recently because maybe uh, nagkaroon ng maraming time ba na meron mm-hmm. na dun ka sa bahay with your family and all uh, na, natutunan ko yung mag-reconnect with my my family so mas yes. nag- nag-rekindle ba yung relationship Uh, namin, oo, sa isa at isa. Oh. And nag-boost mm-hmm. siya ng good, ano, ng hormone mo. And in, nakaka-relieve siya ng anxiety. And the last one is, eto, very good dito sa akin. I really, di- I am doing so much of physical activities now. Kahit dito oh. sa bahay. So, mm-hmm. I do online exercise. Lahat ng exercise na pwede na kaya yung katawan ko. <laughs> Ginagawa ko siya. Kahit Just wala sa tono. Kahit wala sa tono yung Zumba ko, <laughs> just, oh, just to release the stress. And I think uh, this is what we need. Uh, oh, all the things that you are going to hear from the the five of us, you put them together and you will come up victoriously uh, yeah, exactly. out yes. of this pandemic. Right. Thank you, Cher. What about Thank you? Kathy? Uh, for me, uh, since I'm a mother of three, So, hindi nila ako nakikita-kalat-kalat sa bahay, di ba? Kasi magugulo at guguluhin nila ako or may, meron ako activity with them. So, I find 20 minutes in a day na doing nothing. Like, just to be still. Stillness, oo. Mm-hmm. So, 20 mm-hmm. minutes yan. And saan ko ba yung nagagawa? Sa loob ng banyo? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, kasi lang ako yung ano mo, yung parang ano, hidden place for me na yes. bago ko 20 minutes, still lang, I'm doing nothing. Tapos, after that, yung meron kang, um, yung aroma, yung pag maligyo. Ah, uh-huh. yes, oo. Yun. So, para ma- ma-energize ako, ma-recover ko yung mga energies na kailangan kong ibigay ulit later uh-huh. on. 
Then, dahil nga CS section, so I still need to go back to my physical activity. Kailangan din para ma, ano, ma, alam yun, for me to heal, para makatulong din dun sa operation. Uh-huh. So, ano lang, uh, slow movement, yung mga uh, um, like exercises. Yan. Okay. Uh, pero baka gagayahin ko na si Prexy mag-yoga. Wow! Mm. Good luck na lang talaga sa inyo, ha? Yan ang masasabi ko. <laughs> Baka magkapit na tayo magkaroon ng yoga se- session. Yoga session. Why not? Why not? Right. Tama natin right. si Dr. Romel. Why not? Yeah. 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 For myself, Happy. yun, every day yan. Okay. And of course, lastly, Joe, what's what's your, ano, um, how do you find peace and calm amidst the chaotic environment we have at the moment? <laughs> yun. Uh, una, hindi madali, ah. Hindi talaga oh, madali. Hindi madaling gawin yun. Uh, it's, a, it's a process. Tulad na sinabi ni Sherry, it, it took her seven years yeah. para maging habit siya and para maging autopilot na. Uh, and it is it is true. Kung baga, kung dumad, nung dumaan ako sa proseso ng pagbabago, talagang hindi siya madali kasi may mga times na talagang tatanungin mo sarili mo, bakit ko ba ito ginagawa? Yes. But because uh-huh. you are very... Um, clear kung bakit mo siya ginagawa and connected siya sa puso mo, you will continue it. So, so for me, ang ganda nung uh, share ko lang, yung uh, atinan kong isang webinar uh, about, very rela- related dito sa topic na to, yung five drivers ng uh, mm. physical and mental energy, which is mm. move, sleep, eat, um, relax, and connect. So sa akin, uh, I try to balance Katulad ng ginagawa niya siya, meron physical time, as much as possible, uh, regular physical time. Sa so ngayon, uh, dahil limited ang paglaba, so I do uh, Zumba at least uh, 30 to 40 minutes regularly. Uh, and then I start my day uh, talagang shouting sa universe. Wow! You know, yung, 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 yung positive uh, affirmation mo. Ah, For me, okay. it helps. Oh, that's For very good. Helps. Uh-oh. that you start your day um, uh, positive. Na, kumbaga, yung thoughts mo, you try to regulate your thoughts na maganda siya. So that mm-hmm. it will carry over sa, 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 sa araw. So yun. So, ang ang, ang mental to... health talaga is really a wholeness of mental well-being. Ano, hindi pwede isa lang. Balance. Yeah. Balance. A balance of those three. Totoo. Exactly. We, Doc, we have a few questions that I'm going to ask you later on. But before that, I just wanted to acknowledge some of the friends who have joined us this afternoon. So we have Dana. Hello, si Dana. Nandiyan pala. Dana Isabel Bakay Silang, di ba? <laughs> Henriette, how are you? We have Lolita. Kumusta na? And of course, si Veronica, di ba? Yung ating magandang ano ng Infinity um, CEO. We have the Zenny, Rikiso is there as well. Hi, Zenny. We've got Michael Haujan. We've got Ellie, si Edria, all the way from Philippines. Nandiyan din siya. Uh, nanonood sa atin. We've got Albert. Nandiyan din si Albert Serna. And then, of course, si Ajen. So, thank you very much, guys, for joining us tonight. Doc, meron kasi isang tanong dito. Yung tanong ni Chito kanina about... Um, uh, may tanong siya kanina about... May mga tao po ba na naturally prone? So, diniskasa natin yun. Um, na mention mo na about na women are prone to that and then yung tanong naman niya ulit about um, a problem can cause mental health what is the best way to deal with the problem is yun yung sinasabi naman din jo na um, find out what you can and cannot control and the ones that you can control um, yun yung i-address mo the things that you cannot control you have to learn to let it go so yun ang nakuha natin and may isa dito doon na medyo ano medyo mahaba-habang tanong from Al John Bautista so ang sabi niya Meron po daw siyang relative na nakapag-experience ng schizophrenia. Ano pong advice niyo sa mga tao na depressed at the moment? And what are the things that we can do to avoid it? And then, uh, and when is the right time to seek help? Okay? So tie up ito, Doc, sa iyong, uh, mama, iyong ipopromote na um, support system. Oo nga. Uh, 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 tama ka, multiplicity of uh, concerns yung in-express niya. Like, yung sa relative na may schizophrenia, maganda ko nagko-consulta siya talaga sa expert. Kasi schizophrenia, literally, it's split personality. no So, ang dami mo dyan nakikita na nag iba iba ng personalidad. Uh, sa umaga, ibang karakter sa hapon, sa gabi, iba din. So, <laughs> so ang, ang, I'm not just sure kung ano yung context ng questions sa schizophrenia, but uh, what I can say is I hope that person is consulting 
a specialist for that. Kasi pag schizophrenia na, in most cases, lalo na kung hindi na kaya ng psychotherapy yan, psychotherapy is being handled by psychologists. Pero kung gamot na talaga yung kailangan, dahil in most uh, schizophrenic cases ay uh, pharmacolo- par- pharmacologically done na. Kung baga, psych- uh, psychiatrist can prescribe medication for them eh. Na hindi na kasi kaya ng behavioral therapy yan. So, yun yung ginagawa. So, yun lang masasabi ko dun sa part na yun. Ano yung advice sa mga tao na depressed at the moment? Well, madami, maliban doon sa pagkain ng tama, doon sa binanggit po natin kang banana is very very good mood booster. Um, strawberry, uh, walnuts, almond, no? Tuna is very high in omega-3 so that enhances also the the capacity to uh, to enhance uh, happiness uh, as a feeling. Uh, ano pa? Um Siyempre yung physical exercise, mahalaga po yan. Mindset, uh, I mean positive, have positive mindset. So important to recognize uh, ano yung nakakabuti sa atin, ano yung hindi. No? At siyempre meron po tayong crisis lines or crisis Una, high in omega-3. So that enhances also the, the capacity. Uh, meron yata naka-open sa ano po. Uh, ayun. Um, to seek help. Ito po yung first of its kind that we have in in um, in the Philippines. It's from 10 to 10 in the evening. Sa UAE, we're adapting the same time timelines. So it's uh, specifically designed for OFWs and frontliners. So first in the history, not just in the Philippines, but also in the Middle East, specifically dedicated for OFWs and seafarers po natin. Uh, frontliners, particularly in this COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Uh, we wish to have an extension of this na kahit hindi na uh, COVID period uh, or pa- pandemic time, ay mag-float pa rin ito kasi crisis management po ito eh, na counseling is being provided for free at kung makikita po natin, binanggit ko po kami na may iba-ibang levels din ng ating depression, ng ating anxiety, ang disorder in itself, kung, kung talagang andyan na kayo sa peak at kailangan natin ng psychiatrist sa psychologists. Available po ang sandal line. Uh, may marunan na po kayong masasandal line. <laughs> may masasandal line uh, na sila. Oh, di ba? Oh, may masasandal line na sila. At uh, this is uh, a dream come true. Not just for for the organization we have established. There are some experts here in the area. I cannot do it alone. A, a lot of them in the background with the support with of our consulate particularly and, and uh, our ambassador at the same time. So this is uh, actively being uh, being facilitated by uh, by the organizations in the Philippines, uh, psychological centers in the Philippines and here in the UAE, you know, affiliated to our group. This is also recognized by ABS-CBN uh, in their uh, foundation and Ateneo de Manila University happen to also be a part of this program. Sila po talaga yung proponent niyan no? from the okay, beginning okay. when we were creating MOA for, for that purpose. So, ayan po, uh, marami po tayo mga kababayan na da- due to stigma, sabi nga ni Jesse kanina, ay ayaw masyadong lumantad, magpakilala. Mm. May mga sistema po dyan na how to hide your identity. We, mm. we will assist you how to do that. Ah, Kahit bogus okay. din yung ginagamit na names ng iba. Salamat sa Diyos, wala pa tayong mga prank callers <laughs> or wala pa. Uh, prank, prank messages so far na ano, that uh, may mga tao na nag-play around. Wala pa namang ganun. So may, may, may mahigit uh, almost 200 people na po yung natulungan in the past uh, days magsimula ng first week ng April. Active na po yan. They just need to get in touch with us in Facebook and then they can book for an appointment po with the pace that they want. Okay, right. Thank you very much, Doc. Um, sana po ay ito'y makatulong sa ating mga kasamahan ano, or mga kakilala dito sa UAS, ibang area man, um, to take advantage of this. Now, I'm going to pass into Jo, kasi si Jo is meron ni kasi siyang ginagawa ngayon na is actually also helping the community. So, Jo, would you like to um, provide more information on, on this one? Yeah. Um, similar to this, ang sinabi ni Dr. Mel, um, Floripol is offering a free virtual coaching at the moment. Ito yung mga tao na um, who, would, who would like to seek assistance and guidance in um, like reconnecting to their positive habits or mm-hmm. they want to gain more insights and ba yung mga nangyayari towards dun sa parang to go back to uh, a little uh, more positive uh, routine. So kung kailangan nila ng tulong na 
um, to help them um, or guide them na ma ma-recreate yung mga dating um, mga positive habits na ginagawa nila. So, it's a, it's a virtual coaching. Um, ayan, as, as you can see dito sa screen. So, you just need to just email us and uh, we will have a discovery session if you feel like this a session this session is something that you're looking for. Um, we are very much willing to help. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, okay. Joe. And lastly, I would like to call on um, Kathy. Kasi si Kathy is meron din siyang part of her uh, corporate social responsibility. Kath? Hello, yung sa corporate social responsibility naman ng Robins Cafe and Bistro, which is the props for a cause. So this is intended like for every small purchase kasi we open our cafe for delivery and for take out in the Philippines. So for every frap na bibili nila, one pack of uh, meal will go to a frontliner. So it's a way of extending our help and extending our thank you to all our frontliners in the Philippines. Ayan. Nag-discuss na kami, Jess, kasi iniwan muna kami. So tinuloy mo lang lang. Hindi ko kung ano nangyari, okay? Kasi siguro yung ang networks connection. Sabi ko before, before we end, I will have one final question um, to all of you guys. So a, a very short ano lang information of what is self-compassion to you? Kasi at this situation, a lot of critics are around. Diba? Maraming pressures, it leads to anxiety and depression. Ano para sa iyo ang self-compassion? Um, so I'll start with Doc Romel kasi siya nasa pinaka-top ko. Sige po. Um, ang self-compassion sa akin, first and foremost on the, the list, para sa akin may mga components din siya. No? Una yung self-kindness. Ang hirap magbigay ng pagmamahal sa iba kung wala ka, kung hindi mo inaasikasa rin yung pagmamahal mo sa sarili mo. Eh. Para yung uh, simpleng aspeto ng gusto mong magpahiram ng, ng pera o ng oras o ng expertise mo. Pero kung wala ka nun, it's so difficult to give something to others. So yung self-kindness is very important. No? Connectedness is another aspect for me of, um, of self-compassion because if if that is just contained in you and you don't share that possibility of helping out with others what is that uh, talent in you for it's futile mm. you know? it, it's it's you use those god given talents it's part of self compassion eh, na hindi mo lang mahal yung sarili mo kundi it's an outward manifestation of how you carry yourself outside i mean the core of your your comforts to be able to create a difference in the world like yung ginagawa po natin ngayon no uh, uh, in one way over the other at hindi po lahat mangyayari yan kung wala yung third aspect para sa akin yung mindfulness kasi yung mm-hmm. yung aspect pinanggit ni, ni, ni Josie of course no one can can debate on that lahat yan given aspects of uh, the reality and uh, kapag yung self compassion hindi na derive out of our internal connection with the self and our self awareness na binanggit rin ni Kathy kanina it's so difficult to really realize your potential and share it to others. Yun po. Salamat. Okay, thank you very much. Napaka-siksik liglig. Okay, <laughs> Cheryl. <laughs> Sa akin kasi, ano, uh, self-compassion kasi is parang it's the same of having self-compassion to others. Pero ako, how do I apply that to myself? Hindi ko masyadong pinarurusahan ang sarili ko. <laughs> so, you know, when I make mistakes, when I do have shortcomings, and uh, naiintindihan ko siya, na-identify ko na meron akong shortcomings, but I don't beat myself. I find reasons kung bakit ko siya nagagawa. So, hindi, dumadat- hindi na ako dumadating sa point na nagsiself-pity ako or I would blame myself na why did I do that? Why, I, why, why did I came up with that decision? Kasi nga, uh, I learn how to love myself wow. <laughs> and, res- yeah, mm. uh, and respect my decision and find any small reasons to justify my behavior. Uh, Oo, ganun mm-hmm. siya. Okay. Ayun. Ayun. Salamat, Cheryl. She is Cheryl, sabi niya. Right, Kathy <laughs> Rivera or Donyes, <laughs> or Donyes Rivera, what self-compassion to you is? For me, self-compassion is uh, self-love. Okay, mm. because dog, you can't give something that you don't have. So, exactly. feeling your love tank will be able for you to feel the love tank of others. Mm-hmm. And also, mm-hmm. it's extending yourself towards others, finding your purpose in this uh, lifetime. So, yon. Mm-hmm. So your 
finding your purpose plus you're finding a purpose in everything you do. Mm-hmm. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Great. Thank you very much. Joe, yes. what's self-compassion to you is? For me, how do I apply self-compassion is uh, being uh, intentional. Mm. Yung, um, kumbaga, we, I try my best na whatever I do is something that will add value. Mm-hmm. Tapos, um, yung more of, and another thing is understanding how people behave, the way they behave. Mm-hmm. Yung kumbaga, um, and, and it's, it's not easy. Again, it's not easy. Parang kasi syempre tao lang tayo. Pero um, kasi once, once you understand yourself, you are able to understand others as well, much better. So mm-hmm. sa akin, yun, 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 yung, yun yung approach ko sa okay. self, self-compassion. Right. Being intentional Thank you. and Thank trying you. to understand others. Thank, Thank you very much, guys. Um, it has been, although medyo mahaba-haba, but for me, it has been a very, very fruitful conversation. Thank you so much for your time. Um, para sa akin <laughs> naman, you. yes, yes ang, ang self-compassion naman sa akin is, you're, we're only human. We can make mistakes. You can be serious about life, but don't be too serious about yourself. So, kailangan lang natin yun, self-love, self-care, because you cannot give what you don't have. So, with that, I would like to um, encourage everyone to please join us um, next Friday for another fruitful discussion for our Frolic yes. Friday. So please follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook at Samira Quintilla. So yun lang po. Um, thank you so much, Doc Romel, for your time. Cheryl, thank Akati, you. and thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, yes. Doc. Thank you, Doc. Good luck. Uh, exactly. You, so Doc. guys, um, we will be thank sharing you, this later on. Thank you for your time. Yes, thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.